Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to HVAC Startup Technicians. And I wanted to take the time to talk to the guys that want to get into the HVAC field um, and um, want to be apprentice, want to get to learn on the technician. I want to take some time, guys, to talk to you guys. And um, hope you guys tune in. Hope you ready to listen what i've got to say because i have been a, an apprentice just recently um get my journey man so we all are learning together and that is why i did this channel so you guys you know if long as they're gonna make sure you could um lift what 50 pounds what normally it is required um your has to be in good physical shape and um yeah, once you're ready to learn and you could get to the job on time, and my job, most of start at 7, 7.30, um, and you're prepared to work late because that's how the job comes. Sometimes you have to work late. Um, you will be good to go. So, guys, I don't want to stick. Um, I want to tell you exactly how to get started, and there's two ways you could go about it. You could go and fill some application and look for a job. And then um, most companies will send you to school and train you. Now that part of it is for the lucky guy because you have to hope and pray that you get a job. Um, if you know somebody in the field and they could kind of verge for you, then it's easier to get a job that way. The way I did it, me coming from a small island, I didn't have any friends here is I, enlisted in one of the colleges um so you could go to one one of the community college and then you could learn how to do hvac so i think they have classes at the college that i used to go they had classes like six to nine at night so that's the easier way to get a job because once you're going to school and you could apply for a job and the schools also help you find job they have a list of manufacturers that they work with so what the school will do they will give you a list or they will send out your resume to these companies and help you find a job and um you're going to learn most of the stuff that you guys going to learn you're going to learn it in the field so um school you're going to just get the theory part of it and you're going to have to go with a technician you're going to have to ride with a technician and that's how you are going to learn in the field so that are the two ways that you could get started as i said before Go to um, a HVAC job um, company and ask them for a job or go to school. I could just tell you about my experience. I went to school first. Um, I paid money to go. And most companies will reimburse you once they um, give you a job and they realize that this guy is sticking, you know, he's, he's investing in his future. He started going to school. He's coming to learn. He buying his little tools and stuff like that and that's another thing though you have to at least have maybe a, a screwdriver you could get one of those little bags even if you want to start um from just a place like harbor fruit where you just have a screwdriver pliers you know just the, the little thing i'm um, sorry i don't have any tools here with me where i could kind of demonstrate for you guys and show you exactly what but you don't need much to get started and um the school will normally give you books so they will give you a book that you're going to use and you're going to learn a lot of stuff. Um, once you get out in the field, what you have to do is just got to take notes, pay attention. Um, instructors and um, and your people that are training you, um, they like to see when you take action. They love to see when you're ready to learn. But um, another thing is you got to be very careful when you just started, as I said, with, with which company you work for because there are good companies and there are bad companies out there. So you want to go with a company where you could learn. You want to go with a company that's willing to invest in your future and you want a good working environment. So you want a company that will definitely give you opportunities to learn. They're gonna do courses, they're gonna do classes from time to time. And once they start doing those summer classes, you wanna take advantage of these summer classes. So guys, the best way to start, as I said, just to recap, um, go to the college. Um, you, most of your community colleges, they go to the website and they will have um, HVAC classes. And now we're getting into the holidays. 
once the holidays are over, they're going to be restarting. They're going to be restarting, and you could sign up right now and try to get things organized, try to register if you want to get into the field. That is the way to go. So two ways to recap. You could find a job, which I think is a little bit harder. But, you know, you may have better luck than me. It was hard for me. Or you could just enlist first and start going there. And um, most most companies will reimburse you if they realize that you're doing good. I know most companies will give you back your money. All depends on your grade or some of them will pay outright for you. So companies do help with the financial part of it if you working for them so choose wisely choose the company you want to work for go there and learn and that's how you get into the trade and most of the stuff you will learn as you go you know don't worry about a lot of stuff don't get frustrated don't get overwhelmed by the things you see you will take it step in step by step because there's guys that have been doing it for 20 years and these guys are still learning when you talk to them you will tell them they will tell you that they're seeing new things every day. So get ready to learn and listen to college, find a job and just learn on the job as you go. Eventually, once they start to build that confidence in you, they go put you in a truck and they will give you tasks to do. And once you do better, they will give you more responsibility and then you could transform to a technician. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe. And if you are a new apprentice and you find value in this video, please like and subscribe. And hopefully we could talk more and I could give you more HVAC videos on how to get started. See you on our next video.